Important road trip lies in front of the Boston Red Sox. Three with the Orioles in Baltimore, three with the Yankees in New York. To that end, we talk with the general manager, the successful general manager of the 62-53 and 53 Baltimore Orioles, Dan Duquette. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Hey, good morning, John. I'm good. How are you? Very, very good. Uh, you had no fade after a hot start. Is this more than you expected or about what you expected out of your baseball team this year, Dan? We well, we got a, we got a couple of pitchers that came up that helped us. Um, Tillman and, uh, and Gonzalez, they're like five and two and four and two, and they um, gave us a little extra boost. And uh, our everyday lineup's pretty decent. Um, and then uh, this kid from the minors developed, Machado. I mean, he's got a lot of talent. Yeah, tell us about Machado. I've heard a lot about him. What's uh, what's your take on him? Well, he he. Um, you know he's from Brito down in Miami, which is a great baseball area. But he's a he's a really gifted uh, Dominican kid that was educated in the states, and you know he's just got all the tools. He's a big, strong kid, and you know he can do everything. He can play shortstop and hit for power, and you know these kind of guys they don't come along very often. But he's taken over at third base, right? Yeah, he he came up to play third. J.J. Uh, J. Hardy does a good job for us at short. And he's a really good defender. And uh, we just thought it was easier to add him and uh, put him at third. Uh, that'll solidify our interior defense and gives us another good bat. You say he's a bigger kid. Does that mean third base is going to be his position of the future for the foreseeable future? Well, I mean, that's that's up to Buck. Uh, he was playing shortstop good in uh, double A, and, mm-hmm. and uh, he looked good in the Futures game out in Kansas City. They had four young prospect shortstops and um, you know he looked as good as any of them in the field so uh, you know I, I mean that remains to be seen I, I think a lot of people compare him to A-Rod who came up and played short and went to third and uh, you know maybe that's the, his career path but you know he certainly has the physical skills to play short. You know Dan you're 62 and 53 and when you just look at the numbers it, it doesn't really add up you have a minus run differential of I think minus 49 you're 25th in on-base percentage, 23rd in batting average, 27th in quality starts. How are you 62 and 53 right now? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we, our bullpen's good. And uh, when we get into a close game, uh, we've been able to win it by uh, executing. Um, and I, I think that's probably uh, the strength of our team is our bullpen. Jimmy Johnson's really good. And uh, this kid, Pedro Strope, we have is uh, strong. I mean, he's got a 97, 98-mile-an-hour sinker. Yeah, and O'Day's been really good, too. Yeah, o- O'Day's been great. He, he um, He's like 6-0. and He comes in and gets out of a jam. So uh, when we get into a close game, uh, you know, Buck unloads the bullpen, and those guys generally uh, hold the other team down, and then we score a run. Dan, what does it say about your team that only one team in the American League has won more games on the road? That'd be the Yankees have won more road games than the Orioles, and it's close, 33-32. to 32. What's that say about your club? Well, I mean, we play, we play pretty good on the road. Um, I, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, adversity you face, uh, you know, you face on the road. So, I mean, these guys are... Uh, you know, pretty good pros. They're they're uh, they're battle tested. Weeders Weeders is good. You've seen a lot of him, and mm-hmm. he's having a good year. And uh, Adam Jones is good. You know, he's having a breakout year. Sports Radio WEEI now on ninety three point seven FM in Boston.